Hey guys, today I'm making this little bakery for the pets. Always ask a parent for help before starting any craft. And for this project, you'll need Okay, so let's get started. So I start with a relatively small box, and here I'm going to remove this front piece, my tabs, and then I'm also going to cut all of my edges so that they're about four inches tall. So, and after I remove my front section, I use my scissors or an X-Acto knife to make sure my front edge is straight along with my side pieces. Then I cut out another piece to fit, glue it down, and then wrap my walls and my floor in. And then just gluing another strip of craft on paper here along the back for trim against my wall and to hide this little seam. And you can add windows and a clock if you like, and you can access this by clicking on the link in the description section below. Cut out two popsicle sticks around the edges of one side and glue as shelves. And for my workbench, I glue two popsicle sticks to a thin piece of cardboard, file to smooth your edges, I glue my popsicle sticks to a piece of craft on paper that's at height, and then I glue another piece of craft on paper inside for an easy little work table. I add a display case. I made this one in a previous tutorial. Add your stove against one wall. And along this wall here, we can add another display case. I start with a piece of craft foam paper. Mine is almost two inches tall or about three and a half centimeters tall and about six inches or 15 centimeters wide. I measure about one inch in on either side and score. I do the same thing on the other side. I cut out another piece of craft foam paper to fit between my mark and score. I fold it over, glue it together, and trim any excess. Then I glue like so. And I do it again, then I glue in place. And you want to make sure and flatten out your piece before you glue. And because I get paranoid that I'm going to mess it up, I just use tacky glue for my shelf which means that you may have to hold it for a bit or press something hard on either side to keep it in place. Or you can turn it on its side and rest something on top. And when your display case is dry, cut at an angle. Then make canisters out of chapstick lids or whatever lids you have on hand. Alternatively, you can cut off a section from a colorful plastic straw and seal the bottom with a bit of hot glue on wax paper. Or I just apply a thin amount lid in the center to give it plenty of time to dry. When dry, trim the excess, then cut out a piece of craft foam paper that will fit just barely inside, and glue it to the center of another piece of craft foam paper. Place on your straw, then trim. Then use your hole punch to punch out another piece of craft foam, glue it, or simple little canisters. And for the breads, I glue two pieces of craft foam paper together, and when using my hot glue, I really try to massage it in so it's spread evenly between my pieces. You really just want to try and get as even of a coat as you possibly can without getting under your fingers. And then for my bagel, just cutting out a small little circle. And then I use the second largest setting on my hole punch to punch a hole. For a larger piece of bread, I use more craft foam paper, and by folding it over you can guarantee that at least one side won't have a seam. For my circle loaf, I simply cut a larger circle, and I score an X. I then cut out my baguette, just rounding barely along the bottom here. That seam looks pretty good. And then just rounding the top a little bit. And then I score just diagonal dashes, just these little slants here. And finally for just another type of bread, I just kind of curve up one side and then curving again to this kind of leaf shape. I do kind of a squiggly gash. Then I take something like a paper clip or something hard and narrow, and I kind of smash it around to give it a little bit of shape. And your craft foam will expand so it won't stay completely in that shape, but it just gives it a little bit of character. 
then I take a piece of sidewalk chalk and I'm really not sure what color this is guys it looks like maybe a light brown but then I thought maybe it was mauve but I just looked to see what kind of looked like bread scraping off some here just the dust I pick up my pieces and I just massage a light amount into my bread until you're satisfied with the consistency with your bagel you can leave it as is or you can use brown and black little marker to turn it into an everything bagel and then I just take clear nail polish and just paint the top so here's my dried bread and I'm just going to place it on my shelves and you can also add little donuts which I made in a previous tutorial place my donuts on a little cake stand and so here I've just glued two plates which I made in a previous tutorial to two beads and then I place my baguettes in baskets made out of acorn shells so here I've just cut off the bottom and defiled it and painted can add a little spoon made from a previous tutorial just using hot glue on wax paper and in here instead of painting it with nail polish or acrylic paint I actually just used a permanent marker and then this little uh, wooden rolling pin using a section from a doll and gluing to the ends of toothpicks and finally I make a little sign with craft home stickers which I then glue to a section of a cute straw I then take my flower basket from a previous video and add a hook which I then glue. I glue to my straw and I glue it to my wall. And guys, you are totally good to go. Well guys, I sure hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks so much for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Thanks guys. Hi you guys. So, if the bagels are made out of craft foam, do you think I can still eat them? Worth a shot. I'll let you know. Anyways guys, special shout outs going to Anastasia Brodzinovska, LPS Kitty Cat Kit Cat Productions, Wolfie Lover Cuteness, Bianca Rogalinska, LPS Lover 108, Jada Caton, Imani Plummer, 773 Princess, LPS Valentine, LPS Forever 123, LPS Fox, and Thomas Espinoza. As always, thanks so much for watching. Good night, guys!